The feds found Diddy's fingerprints when they tested for forensics on one of the cups that Kim Porter had. They're currently looking for the footage. That's why they did a subpoena and the feds raided Diddy's estate so that they could find evidence leading to the claims and everything like that. They noticed that the markings that were there is consistent to the same ones that Diddy left in the security footage. This is why they're looking to get justice for Kim Porter right now and Tupac. If you guys support them, comment. Comment 222, like this video to get the justice for them and subscribe to the channel because now they're finally about to unleash the list of documents that reveals Diddy's victims and everything that he did because the feds are looking to do a RICO and on the whole entire camp bad boys p diddy everybody that's involved is about to get taken down they're currently seeking justice for tupac biggie smalls and kim porter as long as also with heavy d and craig mack because they believe that there was a lot of foul play done in many situations in the people and it all leads back to one main person the fingers are pointing at p diddy and he got caught red-handed this all is happening and people are finding out about it and the feds are basically launching the investigation because this is karma from him treating people wrong and for him trying to set up Tupac and Biggie a lot of people when they try to do certain things and they try to cover it up and hide it under the, the sweep it under the rug and everything like that the karma from the situation is going to come back to haunt them because they were doing the wrong thing and this is exactly what's going on in P. Diddy's situation the reason why everybody is coming forward at the same exact time why Cassie got her 30 million dollars why Keefe D is going on the stand to testify against them why Gene Deal has already been trying to prove all of these things after after all these years is due to the fact that Diddy he was being greedy he was being jealous envious and this all leads to why he was acting the way he did and he treated the people the way that he did he was really scared of Tupac and Biggie because they were about to come together and be more powerful than him this is why he is also scared and afraid of 50 Cent because 50 Cent now has the power of the people backing him and that's what Diddy didn't have that's what Diddy lost and 50 Cent is now gaining and buying back all of the opportunities that Diddy lost from basically ripping people off by being too two faced two sided he he acted like and made it seem like he was going to be this type of person but then when you got alone with Diddy and them after parties them white parties and the freak parties happen then he's a whole different type of character and this is what people fail to realize you can't trust everybody out there especially people who like celebrities people with money and all that it doesn't make them better than nobody else or the next man and this is what people got to realize is that it all comes back to getting justice for the people who was wrong and fix in them wrongs and turning them into rights everything that was done in the dark is going to come to light and people believe that what Diddy did is basically he's getting what he deserves because everyone knows at this point he could have had a lot of money he could have been sitting up nice and taking care of his business and everything like that but he wanted to keep going and get to the top he wanted to be above everybody he wanted to have all the power all the control he wanted to be the king of New York and all of these different labels and all that stuff and he didn't want to stop at getting a 50 million 100 million he wanted to keep going but that only meant using stepping on and mistreating people and that's what actually caused him to basically he let the money get to his head he let the greed the envy the jealousy of being the rich guy being the guy with all the control and the, owning the um bad boys and everything now he has to sell bad boys now he has to sell sean john he got kicked out of ciroc neiman marcus doesn't want him in their stores dillard's macy's Saks fifth they don't want him diddy in there no longer because that's going to tarnish their image by keeping him in there when at this moment he's being looked at and investigated for 10 different types of wrongdoings that he did and he's they're getting justice because the families have been fighting this for a long time they've been working with the justice system the da's and the prosecutors of the areas and they've been finding out through the whole entire thing what is the footage that they have against diddy what is the exact evidence that's coming forward what did cassie bring to the table to the feds to help prosecute and bring justice for tupac with exactly the same thing that keefe d did by telling the story about the million dollars the proffer agreement all that is basically like things that were done 
to actually expose Diddy, T.D. Jakes, anybody else who has some type of thing because this situation, it goes back to the fact that Tupac was trying to warn everybody. Biggie and them were trying to warn everybody and stuff. They were, they seen it all happen. They noticed the signs and the, and the symptoms and everything that it was about to be a lot of weird stuff and that people should just be, you know, paying attention to their families and taking care of their businesses and everything like that. A lot of people knew that Diddy had something to do with Kim Porter and they tried to get the footage a long time ago they also try to get the Tupac footage but one thing you know about the footage is, is that the footage from like everything was owned by a third party security company that put up the cameras and so when they try to go and get like the, the footage from P Diddy's house it was already owned by ADT they're the ones who actually set up the security system and so they ended up selling the footage to a big company or some type of private person it could have been somebody that Diddy gave the money to to buy the footage back so that way they're not able to release it and this is why businesses have to keep their footage for 48 hours before they delete it in case the first 48 happens and the investigators have to come and get the footage from them and so now they're working hard to get the Tupac footage because they know that there was cameras at them intersections and there was people taking pictures and all sorts of stuff the Mike Tyson fight had just happened there was news cameras and there was all sorts of people outside witnesses that seen the whole thing go down but the footage they sold that to some other person who probably went and got it blurred out and this this and that it was a lot of people who were trying to get access to the Tupac and the Kim Porter footage because on one hand P Diddy's whole team was trying to get access to it so that way they could buy it so they don't have to release it ever and if they ever had to they could change it up and blur it and chop it up because no one gets to look at the footage like no one actually was able to get it in time and request for it before the first 48 went by that way they had the whole entire opportunity to tr pretty much try to get rid of it and have somebody edit the whole thing up same thing with the Kim Porter when they went to P Diddy's house and raided it and they were trying to get the forensics the ballistics done trying to figure out what was in the cup and whose fingerprint was on it they tried to get the footage because one of the security cameras shows the room inside of P Diddy's house where Kim Porter was and everywhere like right after that white party ended the after party where Diddy took everybody to his house then he kicked everyone out and then the last thing people known was that Kim Porter had the cup in her hand and that's the same cup that was laying right next to her and this whole entire thing goes back to the fact that they seen P Diddy's fingerprints and they knew that he was somewhere in that area that they couldn't rule him out the same thing happened with Keefe D when they raided his house after he spoke about the Tupac they found the spent shell casings that lead back to the same exact blick that was used the, sun, the one that he talks about he kept the rounds because they went to the detail shop to get the car cleaned up when they were trying to return the car this was hours after the Tupac pocket and he said himself in the interview with Vlad that he took it to the detail and he painted he paid to get the car painted back to white and they basically like cleaned the whole thing up and under the seat under the seat track where the seat moves he found the brass shell casing and he picked them up they were still hot they were warm and bent up a little bit and they had the residue that will lead back to that same exact thing that was used and this is why they, the investigators have a lead with this whole entire thing. Keefe D, he was telling a lot of information. And a lot of people didn't think that he was the type of person that was going to be spilling the beans like that. And basically putting D P. Diddy's name in it. Throwing a lot of people in the mix saying how he did this. Who paid the money. Who was the middleman. He spoke about everybody in the situation. And told the story exactly how it happened. So the fact that the feds got him working for them so that they could use him to get out of trouble trouble and tell on p diddy then p diddy he might tell on his co his whole co-executive owner of bad boys because he's listed in several of the victims report saying that he actually was there during all of the stuff and seen p diddy doing all the stuff and didn't try to tell him to stop him or anything like that and they always said that in the parties and the diddy like clubs and everything like that they told a lot of the rappers they told jim jones don't drink out of these bottles because those are the ones that they were supposed to have with the whole mixture and the sauce in it they put the sauce in the bottles and shook it up and resealed it to make it look like they were just coming out fresh from the back of the club these were the bottles that they was given to all the the 
the like the people in the party that they was trying to get with or whatever right they was trying to get them back to the after party so a lot of the people the the people kim porter um the girls who were singing the actresses the famous supermodels they was like yeah these bottles is the one with the sauce in it for them and the other bottles that's the regular ace of spades those are the ones that all the rappers and diddy had and everybody that was supposed to be basically a part of the whole entire like ordeal they were basically part of the plot the finesse that was going on and it's the same type of thing that was going on in the last moments of kim porter they had the same type of bottles out they said nope don't touch this this is for the actresses and the supermodels and the singers these are for the guys and everything like that and this is the type of trickery that you got to watch out for because everybody got an ulterior motive when it's out you out party having fun and everything like that at these celebrity parties it all seems like everybody having a good time and everything like that but but actually what's going on is that people are plotting there's finesse going on they're waiting for you to get too lit and everything like that so they could try to get you to go back to the diddy party and everything this is the reason why people were told but a lot of people came out of the woodworks and said watch out for him don't go to none of them after don't go to the diddy parties don't go to the white parties and we see how people doing that now little baby goes to the white parties now it's the same thing but they were doing it back then and diddy was the main guy throwing the parties now it's a whole different group of people doing it to these rappers and everything like that but ultimately man this comes down to getting the justice for tupac if y'all rocking with tupac if y'all rocking with biggie comment 222 comment r.i.p biggie r.i.p Pac because they're really about to get the footage they're getting the witnesses together and they're getting the whole entire grand jury to look at this case as a serious matter because they're about to take down p diddy the whole entire bad boys and 50 cent and tupac and everybody that's looking down on the situation they laughing and looking at diddy like we got you now um basically this whole thing is coming to a big entire trial and we're gonna have the updates and everything soon so you gotta stay subscribed and i'm gonna catch you later